resonant for me is actually the perfect complication for the brand. Um, as you know, Armistrom is very famous for its dial side animations and resonance is exactly this with um, the two balance wheels with the uh, coupling spring, the spring which connects the two balance wheels, you have a great um, animation going on, on on the front of the watch and, and for me that's why resonance is, is really the complication for the brand. What's better than having a great movement in your watch? Maybe having two great movements in your watch? Hmm. Today we're looking at a watch that has two hearts beating as one. The watch in question utilizes a special technical solution to improve the precision and it is the Armin Strom Mirrored Force Resonance First Edition. Luxury watches, or at least mechanical watches, they're never going to be as precise as the time on your phone or your computer. But striving for precision is something that watchmakers have done since the early days, trying to master chronometry. There are several technical solutions to improve chronometry, or the precision of your watch. Think of a constant force mechanism like a fusée chain or a remontoir. You might say a tourbillon, which often looks spectacular, but its effect on the precision of a wristwatch is questionable. Another technical solution to increase the precision is called resonance. And while Abraham Louis Breguet and Antti de Janvier tried this technique, they found out that mastering resonance isn't an easy endeavor. But what is it? How does it work and why is it so special? Let's step back a few centuries. Resonance is a phenomenon of synchronized motion. In the second half of the 17th century, Christian Huygens, a Dutch physicist, invented the pendulum clock. A pretty important invention, you could say. When he hung those two pendulums from one wooden beam, he noticed that both pendulums started running in sync. Now that phenomenon is called resonance. The two pendulums functioned as one in a synchronous manner. For instance, when a shock slows down one of them, the speed of the other will be increased by the same amount. Both pendulums will strive to get back into resonance, averaging and minimizing the effect of the outside influence as they find their rhythm again. Resonance watches are developed to optimize chronometric precision and to keep the daily accuracy more stable and consistent. In 2016, Armin Strom introduced the Mirrored Force Resonance, which showed an innovative and very special solution to actually achieve this resonance. Armin Strom added a third spring, so-called resonance clutch spring, to couple the oscillators, putting them together and ensuring that the collective motion of these three springs sets the rate of the watch. This resonance clutch spring functions as Christian Huygens' wooden beam. Now let's get a little bit technical here. The stud holders of both balance springs are connected to this resonance clutch spring. And this way, the resonance clutch spring functions as a flexible suspension and that is something that has never been done before in the watch industry. To develop this resonance clutch spring, which is pretty much space tech, Armstrong worked together with the University of Neuchâtel. Our way of uh, synchronizing two balance wheels is a physical connection. A physical connection which was already described by Antti Janvier. Antti Janvier was the famous uh, clockmaker who achieved resonance with two pendulums. And he said, by sharing the suspension of the two pendulums, I achieved resonance. And what we do in our watch, we share the suspension, the stud, which is at the end of the hairspring, and we connect them thanks to a third frequency, a physical connection, to properly beat in resonance. After the first few prototypes we have done in-house, we saw that there is room to improve this suspension system and therefore we were looking for a partner which was able to finalize the shape of the resonance clutch spring. And therefore we approached the CSM, which is part of the University in Neuchâtel, they are experts in flexible suspension and thanks to the partnership we uh, could do it together with them, we were able to finalize the shape of the clutch spring. Of course, we're not only famous for 
transparent mechanics. We, we're also famous for kind of Swiss German autoroshi tradition and the fusion with innovation and resonance. When you look back in history, it always has been a great and very important topic for watchmakers and very proud of it that uh, Armin Strom, the team, Claude and the team was, was um, able to finally master resonance in a very stable way with this so-called the clutch spring. Um, so we have the innovation part, and, but also there's a big part of tradition going on in, in resonance. So for me, in the new mirrored force resonance first edition and the coming models, it's definitely um, a great, a great uh, complication for, for the brand. The watch movement is the most important part in an Armin Strom watch. Um, Armin Strom, we are very known for visible movements from the back and from the front side. Um, so finishing is definitely something which is very, very important for our company. Um, when it comes to finishing, um, we go into a very traditional finishing. So every part is hand finished. So in our decoration workshops, we use very old techniques. Um, so we use uh, wooden uh, sticks to polish. We have uh, um, hand perlage machines. And so we try to combine polishing, matte finishing, hand grinding to underline the three-dimensional shape of the movement. For example, the balance uh, bridge, which is three-dimensionally shaped, it's completely hand polished, um, combined with some uh, straight grinding on the side, gives a very nice uh, combination. 360 degrees, it's not just about doing a little bit of decoration which is visible, it's to, to have every single part and which finally gets assembled to a movement uh, to have them as perfect as possible. I mean, the whole movement is a highlight and this is what, what makes me proud to have added the new mirrored force resonance in our collection. So with our new mirrored force resonance with the so-called first edition, we also redesigned the case. Not only the movement uh, is new, also the case is new. So um, it's definitely smaller. Maybe it's a bit the trend also for markets, but um, um, it was not easy to make uh, resonance movement smaller because we do have two movements, um, so it, we need a certain space for, for the watch. So we shrinked it and we came down to uh, 43 millimeter and the 11.5 millimeters in the height. So it's a very comfortable size. Um, also, what we did new is the reduced lip. Uh, a slight reduction in design for the for the so-called lip, which is a signature for the brand. It's still there, but it's uh, much smaller, so it's way more integrated in the design of the case. To me, this is the pinnacle in watchmaking, finding new ways to use old knowledge, but now it actually really works. Besides that, the watch looks absolutely stunning, and this is what watchmaking is all about. See you for the next video.